the time to showcase your gifts to the world. Artist and lyrics, artist and lyrics. The gifts of a man make it. Another beautiful time on artist and lyrics, and we're so thankful to God. I have today Ulushola She's got a song titled My Sufficiency and we're looking into that today. Do not miss London episode of Artist and Lyrics on NZ Radio London every Thursday 7 through 7 30 pm London time. Artist and lyrics. Let's see some of her works and after that we will come back for the day. I should just see me so not so so that's like the dance. Every day of my life, I just stay shaking my body for you. I know the grace, I know the color. Mukulu muka muja jo na in the rain no baba Motokuta bi ogbo ila o mo igiji mo jila gogo adura o mo mo kori mi she ninu ki o mo motokuta bi ogbo ila o it means a lot waking mm. up in the morning telling your creator that you will not be redundant in life you will not be wasted in life yeah my name is Shola Grace Igbayiloye. That's my name. Uh, my stage name is Shola Simba. I hail from Ekiti State in, um, uh, you know, in Nigeria, even though I reside in the United Kingdom. I'm an HR person. I started singing, ministering in church, leading the children choir from the age of seven. And um, from my primary school to my secondary school, everywhere I find myself, I delight in leading music. I delight in singing. Um, um, it's, it's like it, the best thing for me. Remember most of the brochure we did then in the school, each time they asked me, what do you want to become? And like when I was in school, I was a newscaster. I was always, but it's, it has always been anything that involves talking, mm -hmm. singing and all sorts. And I will say when it, when every time it's, everyone is saying, I want to become a, a medical doctor. I want to become this. I'll say, I want to become a music minister. I've always, even when I didn't really, really understand what it means, mm -hmm. because now I know what it means. At that time, I never understood what it means to be a music minister. Oh. So I, I, I got the vision properly, even though I've been saying it's music, it's music, but I really don't know what to do, how to do, how to go about it, until the Lord directed me, you know, along the line of um, my father, who happens to be my adopted father, uh, Reverend Timmy Elimi. So I was with, oh. with him for years. I joined the backup singers. I was following him every day. I was living there. I was living with him for years like that so he grouped me into what actually god wants me you know to be and um in 2012 i i started my own ministry the music ministry i released my first album titled destiny in 2012 and absolutely till this time it's been god all the way uh, there have been instances uh that um i got so a, a point of confusion i remember there was one occasion when i wanted to release an album and um, I actually needed money. I was working on my project in 2018. Uh, the title of the project is um, um, Mighty God. Oh. I was working on it. I needed financial support. And uh, it was so horrible at that time that there was no money anywhere. And um, there was industrial action, no money. Oh. The government was not paying nothing at that point in time. To my surprise, two incidences happened during that period. One, my husband got a contract. Uh, he got a contract and that um, 
would definitely finish that project over a million contracts at that point in time. That came through to be able to solve that. And another person, someone in someone in my uh, local area who has never talked to me. This woman has never spoken to me. I don't even know that this woman listens to my music. Mm-hmm. You know, at times you have some you are doing some things, you don't know that people, some people are not talking. That's why if you're looking for the praise of men at times, you may be missing it because there are some people that are watching, that are looking at you that they are not saying anything, but they are praying for you mm. and they are there to support you. I just saw that this woman just sent a text message to me that she sent my account's um, bank detail. She wired a huge amount of money to me. I was, I was perplexed. I was surprised because I, I was wondering, I, I, I actually cried that. Why? Oh, so God can actually raise help like this to cover up this, this, you know, shape at this point in time. Yes, mm. are there challenges along the path? Oh man, there are lots of challenges. I've had experiences with pastors, you know. I remember an occasion when I needed um a, a marketer to help me. And it was the pastor, a pastor that introduced one marketer to me. And um I don't want to mention the marketer is in Lagos anyway, but I don't want to mention the name of the pastor or the name of the person, the marketer rather. So the pastor introduced the marketer to me and um, I went, that was after my first album in 2012. I was already married, you know, so I, I went to to see the marketer and um, the, market, the marketer gave me some options. And um, what I could deduce from the marketer's um, suggestion is to also have a way of going out with me. Yeah. And uh, he actually said, emphatically said that um, those are the things that a lot of people do and and um, they've gone away with it. And it has, it has helped them, it has helped them in diverse way. And that I should go and think about it. And if I'm still carrying the issue of I'm married, I'm married on my head, let my husband go and promote me then, you know, things like that. And um, after that, I went back to the pastor that, oh, this is what happened. And um, this is what I've experienced, this is what I've heard. And, uh, and the pastor now said that, oh yeah, if, okay, that's why am I now taking that as, um, that, no, it's, it's not good. He knows that it's not good. But well, if I don't want to, I don't want to do, I don't want to do that, that um, he has seen something in me too, that uh, I need a sense, a particular, a del- I need deliverance. And what he would do is to um, perhaps sleep with me and uh, that will serve as a form of deliverance so that whatever is I uh, attracting the marketer will not, but he would do, the, the stuff and I can, can tell me that if he does that there won't be any problem again that the marketer would will help this and that I was disappointed I I, st- I began to think that does it mean that this man does this is what this man has been doing to a lot of people and other people like this does it mean that this man has been looking for opportunity to do this or he deliberately deliberately introduced me to that person perhaps they are cohorts you know a lot like that and it really affected me because each time I saw any pastor then. I always think that they are all the same. I'm sure this man is doing something secret. It took God's intervention and my husband's help to help me overcome that. It was a good thing that I don't trust anybody. I don't trust any pastor. I've had occasions, a serious occasion where I would have expected a pastor that perhaps where I'd be serving to support my ministry. And my pastor, or the pastor would prefer to announce other things. I don't want to announce their own personal book, personal book, rather than even supporting the minister. Mm. Recently, so, you just dropped a new song, and the title is uh, My Sufficiency. You know, the, the song talks about the weakness of humans. You, It encourages us to totally rely on God. Personally, I feel like the lyrics will carry more weight and sound inclusive if you say our sufficiency is in God, instead of you personalizing it as my sufficiency okay. is in God, what is your take on my point of view? Mm, okay, let me start from this. Like, salvation is personal. Your experience of salvation is personal. Your belief is personal. I lost my biological father at the age of seven. I have never at one point in time been stranded in life. Hmm. Throughout my university day till my postgraduate day, till I graduated as a doctor, I was never stranded for one day. 
And that is why even when things look like it's going to be hard for me, it's going to be tough, I know there will always be a way of escape because my sufficiency has always been in him. Because those are things that I have experienced personally. And bro, there is no how you can convey a message to people if you have not experienced that thing. And that is why I've said my sufficiency is in God. So I have experienced God personally. I have experienced a lot of things that has made me realize that I can only totally depend on God, not on me. And I would also encourage my listeners that any time or each time they listen to my sufficiency, to, to listen, that they listen to this song, they should think back. Let them have a kind of, you know, a, a, a deep thought of things that have happened in their lives. Of occasions where they have been left down, occasions where they have been disappointed, occasions where they have been assured, but eventually it, the person didn't really do it. It was another person who did it. Oh. So they should think, they should retrospect, you know, and when they have that kind of flashback, they will be able to acknowledge that truly their sufficiency is in God. Hmm. That man cannot really give them all. Yes, hmm. God uses man. But it's not all men that God would definitely use for you. Hmm. It is not people that you think at times that will be the one to work in your favor. So hmm. they should think back, look back. Each time they listen to my sufficiency in God, they should just have a kind of retrospection into the past journey and life. How faithful God has been. How supportive God has been, how sufficient God has been, how dependable and reliable he has mm. been, how unfailing his love has been for them. And mm. with this, they will be able to, to, to personalize and say, my sufficiency is in God. That is beautiful. We really appreciate that uh, explanation so much. What is your view about artists and lyrics? The first thing that actually attracted me about the program is the name artists and lyrics. One thing that actually caught my attention is the determination to support people. I see artists and lyrics as a mandate from God sent to, you know, help people to take their stand where they actually belong. Mm. Because there are many people who know where they belong, but they can't even get their feet into the place. They can't stand there. They can't even get there. So I see artists and lyrics as a, a, as as a, the, the the bridging gap mm. for a lot of music ministers, for a lot of art artists, you know. So artists and lyrics is an investment into God's kingdom, mm. investing into the lives of people, supporting people, including me, mm. because I'm sure that one person will listen to the, a lot of people are viewing. They will see this, and I'm sure one. They will bless their lives from mm. what you know a lot of uh, you know artists are put in there so mm. you are doing a great work sir don't be discouraged mm. because discouragement may actually come and that is my word for you don't mm. be discouraged you are doing a great work and you are helping people so when you are helping people there is no how you can always you can ever be stranded you mm. can never so artists and lyrics can never be stranded in life it will keep growing and keep expanding its, its scope yes mm. your scope will soon expand go and write it down Amen. The scope will soon expand. I say that. Wow, thank you so much. We really appreciate that great comment. You know, um, you also have a program that you are hosting people, and you call it Geoshafat Praise. Yes, yes. yes Tell yes, us about this program. Wow, yes, I've got um this mandate, the, the program I usually do quarterly is attached to Geoshafat Praise. It's an it's a, it's a praise explosion. And uh, it's uh, a like a, it's a time where we offer sacrifice of praise that has been leading to victorious life. It's been leading to a lot of victories, a lot of testimonies, a conquering session of worship. That's what we call it. So we all know the experience of Jehoshaphat. And it came from that place of when there was a confusion. And I say this to people, anytime you are confused about anything, join us at the altar of Jehoshaphat praise. That confusion will disappear. You will see that the Lord will make all your enemies to start fighting themselves. And victory <laughs> comes right away from there. So Joseph's praise is a session, a period of undiluted worship that we do on a quarterly basis. Mm. We love to ask our guests, would you be able to compose a song for artists and lyrics? Thank you. Thank you so much, my wonderful brother. 
Is a global blessing. Oh, join on, join on, join this train. Join on, join on, share the victory. Join on, join on, join this train. Join on, join on, share the victory. I say, artists and lyrics. A mandate from the Lord, artists and lyrics, a global blessing. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. In fact, thank you so much for that beautiful song, uh, Dr. Shola Simba. We really want to thank you for coming on Artists and Lyrics. And we say God will bless you in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen, amen. For our audience, this is where we are going to draw the curtain on this episode. And I just want to say, stay blessed and be peaceful out there.